I'm just not gonna say. And with that, that's the end of the event for the night. Yep. Mm. You hear a loud cheer from the orcs as you guys start to see the sun setting down. Well, I'm going to gonna surprisingly leave the group real quick, not permanently, temporarily. <coughs> and he's going to go all the way over to these two. Giving them a quick reminder of don't forget don't forget to change your shift with others. You're not alone in this. So when you get tired, change your shift with someone else. Yes, Chief. Yes, Chief. Arlen gives him a polite nod and heads back to the group. So he's actually gonna head to him. So let me scroll all the way back up for the names. Um uh, uh, Rook. Rook, there we go. Rook. Um, Rook Shasha. He's gonna, you know, sorry. Rook, I want you to be part of a meeting. Alright. Yeah. Uh, now, which tent is. Now, which place has been considered the chief's residence sort of idea for now? Uh, for now, thanks to the previous chiefs, it would be this house here, and Null, you would recognize that this this house here as the old mayor's house. Okay. So he's gonna go get the oh, he's gonna get the elder. Yep, elder's okay. coming. Yep. Okay. Sorry, just wanted to make sure that everyone was coming. So. Boop. So I'm just gonna head in and pretty much ear and tap everyone. Meeting time. Okay, so what and Nefrey will Nefrey will tell Holnir and Dwarvish that it's time for us to conduct the meeting. And I'm just gonna add, don't forget Lorelai. What about Dezo? Dezo's sleeping. Holnir, if it's possible, you... oh wait, no. Holnir, there's not here. Yeah, Frank, can you just let Holnir know to grab Dezo, please? On it. Um, Holnir, can you wake up Dezo for the meeting? Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but once, and not a cat for once, she didn't do anything, anything <laughs> trouble. True, oh. she did. But, well, technically she did, quote-unquote, did. Technically she, quote-unquote, did by challenging Holnir and the orcs to a drinking game. Yeah, but that was just for fun, though. I know, that's why I said, quote-unquote, not m meaning not being serious about it, sort of idea. Alright, uh -oh, so is, yeah. is everyone going to this meeting? Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Uh, I hate when my computer does that. That's okay. Give me one minute. You can see you can see this dwarf with a pint of whiskey in his right hand and a, a dragon barn over his left. Fireman carry. <laughs> Fireman carry. Yep. Her hands yeah. are dragging on the ground considering his height. Yep. Yeah, because he's a dwarf dragonborn. Yeah, not a good picture yet. So now we have no more I like, hopefully coming. Yep, I'm just trying to move everyone that's there inside okay. the mayor's house. Oh, that's lovely. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it did, uh... Out of character. Did... Come on here and drop Dezo over here. Leans her up against the... Leans her up against there, and... Of course, pulls yeah, out his file. Of smelling salts. <laughs> Make your con save. Uh, uh, Why well, I 
I need to do a con save? Yes. Not like salt. Okay, I'm on it. So disadvantage or normal? Normal. Okay. Thank you. Hopefully. <laughs> yep, you wake up. Oh, it's like, ugh. Yeah, if you succeed, you'll still be asleep. But if you fail, you're bright-eyed, bushy-tail with a jolt of adrenaline. With a jolt of adrenaline. Like, oh, oh. Like, oh, what did I miss, huh? What, oh, what, what did I miss? What did I miss? What did I miss? Ah, I, miss? I, miss? I love my, I love tournament smell and salts. They always have the, everyone always has the funnest reaction. <laughs> <laughs> Augment's gonna pretty much be given a whole day to look of set down. Cause, oh boy. Yeah, it's, it's like. And I worried if, about Cortana reading his mind. So, out of curiosity, DM is she? Um, she has a bit. Yeah, and uh, this is like. Give me a minute. Uh, can I have my friend in here? Also, please? The wolf? We... Yes, please? I think he's having a fun enough time out there. I'm just gonna quickly take a peek outside to see if that's the case. Uh, you do notice the wolf, uh, peeing outside the house? <laughs> yeah, just marking his territory. <laughs> yeah, you don't want no other wolves! Come near! Come near the place. I think the orcs have already taken care of that. <laughs> so in other words, Wolfie is fine. Let's get back to the meeting at hand. Yeah, so he's just waiting for Null, Lorelei, and Dejo and Holnair to grab a seat. Yep. Yeah, Dejo's just gonna sit right here. All right, boy, you've got the stage. As he takes mm. a sip from his pint. So Cortana has read his thoughts. So time for the fun bit. And Cat, you can. I think now would that'd be a good time to put on some serious music. Uh, serious music. Okay. That is the hint I am giving. Oh, do you mean Dan? Dan. Oh. No. The current music playing. I don't this hear it. First. Now that we have had our celebration and stuck. Let us get to more important matters at hand. First things first. He looks to know in Lorelei. You two are currently under arrest, and your trial is right now. Wait, what? For the murder of the what? orcs that they did during their escape. The trial is now over. Punishment. As soon as the t original townsfolk return, you're to help bring peace between the orcs and the original townsfolk once they return and we finish our current objective. Wait. Is that fair? What? Well, that was a king that I caught. Out of character. Chose music. <laughs> yeah. So that's the first bit. So, in a nutshell of what just happened, Ogman has pretty much set these two to help bring peace between the orcs and the original townsfolk once the current objective is done, aka removing the mark. Oh, so you basically pulled a Zuko. <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. <laughs> uh, I... Dude, sure. We're not doing last airbender. Nah. <laughs> well, yeah, their pretty much job is after the marks are dealt with and this journey is over, they're to help keep the peace between townsfolk and orcs, pretty much. Now for the second thing, and it's time we brought any gestures to these two in. Over, over here. Time to bring them into the big gun, big things. 
Tom refilled Drew on quite a bit. He gestures his head to Nephrite, if you wouldn't mind showing that I'm not the only one. Very well, and Nephrite will just uncover her left hand and show the mark. Yep, you see a couple of shock faces of the two orcs, and Rook is going, Have all of you been marked like the chief? Holnir will remove his right gauntlet. To summarize, yes, all of us have been marked against our wills. Just like how the rest of you were. Yeah, and then, uh, will show her right, her right or left arm? After Dezo shows, I mean, pretty much is like, I think they get the point. But yes, all of us have it. Our current objective, though, is removing them. Through oh, that's, the, that's your objective, truth be told. Mine is their heads. <laughs> Killing them is part of the removing the marks. If we don't kill them, they're just going to continue to give people marks again and again. Until they succeed. So that's part of the get rid of the marks bit. Uh, fair enough. I still uh, have. I still uh, claim ownership of their heads. The book of grudges demands it. Cortana raises her hand and adds, "Get in line." <laughs> <laughs> I think Cort and he looks older, but I think Cortana be too overly more for the revenge sort of idea, and he uses air quotes for the revenge. I don't care about revenge. All I care about is fulfilling the, the Book of Grudges. And that requires their hit. <laughs> Back on track, though. To, thanks to the help of, he points to Elige, Elige and Ben Nephrite, Nephrite, as well as the rest of the party here. We have leads. And before you guys, before either of you two ask, I'm not going to say them because of us possibly being watched. Which leads to another question on what happened with Ophelia back there. Nephrite. You first. <laughs> yeah. Well, not too long ago, we when we were in Nigelia, we were pressed for information and we sort of garnered a deal with Oh, I'm Hazel, and some given her a lock of our hair, and at one point she had mentioned her daughter. And it would seem that, considering that we've figured out that Ophelia is Hazel's daughter, that whatever we garnered equals to a hex, and it prevents us from causing any harm to Ophelia. Then, okay, then answer yeah, this question. Cortana shares a, a project look. I'm sorry. If if I had been more forthcoming with that information, this wouldn't have happened, but I was still scared about letting you guys know who I truly am. I That's not a problem. Well, let's look at it this way, though. Because... As much as I said back in Iron Law, let's kill a kid, I think it would be better if we actually turned her out to bring her in. Just to hopefully help her change. She's still young, so she can still change. I mean, to look up you and say the problem with that is that she's already been raised with those that are opposed to us. And since we want to, do, to stop her from doing what she wishes to do, which is to basically rid the world of her mother, those that are like her, even if it means the destruction, death of everyone else. There's very little hope of actually redeeming. Well, I'm going to have I'm, I'm, I'm hoping that we don't have to encounter her, though. So, if we do have to, I would to sell things with her, we would have to deal with Hazel first. Especially to get rid of the Hex. We are not gonna kill her. We're not saying that we will kill her, Quinn. 
if anything, we're trying to figure out how to handle the situation with Hazel before we get anything regarding Ophelia into this. It okay, is my and theory, it's my theory that if we can get the items that we're looking for and banish the queen back to where she came from, cut off all of the access to this world, and the marks will simply fade on their own. Thus, no confrontation with a would be necessary if we accomplish that. Yeah, there is a catch with that. We don't know if that's truly the case. For all we know, this could help release them, empower them, or anything else of the sort. There are infinite possibilities we have not considered, including those that some of our closest allies could be lying to us. If they're lying to us, it will be way too late for us to find out. We have to go with what we know and trust that our allies are giving us the information that we need. We are, uh, Afride and I are doing our own research and comparing multiple different resources and books, and not just any one source or person. So we are doing our best to make sure that we are doing the right, the right track. I know, and I thank you both for that as much as I can. And he's going to look to the Elder. Correct me if I'm wrong, but with something I'm currently planning, would this require us to be in, be amongst the rest of the orcs, or is it okay with just this small group? And Kat, you know exactly what I'm talking about now. <laughs> uh... Um, if you're asking about the marks and all that, uh... No, okay. not the marks. I PM'd it to you last session. I had a lot going on between now and last session. Oh, uh, give me a second. I'm going to... Where are you? If you look at the chat history, it'll be on no, page... No, it's PM. It's PM. Oh, PM. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, there we go. I just PM'd you. A reminder. So, belly boop. Oh yeah. Um. The elder kind of curls his tough his um finger a bit, and he's going. This will certainly be unorthodox. I mean, we've never done this with non-orcs before. <laughs> Well, considering the situation, I think we can make an exception. And he's pretty much hinting towards, like, the saving of the Black Claws, as well as the, the you know, death of Magda, as well as their assistance in that. Do I need the inside roll to get what in the hay you're trying to pull? Uh, mm. Yes, it would I be think, insight. And I'm guessing that'd be deception on my part. Yep. Where are you? Where are you? Deception. Nope, she figures it out very easily. Give me a second sound, I get, I'll whisper it. Like, I'm sorry for being the nosy person over here, but here's the thing, Lorelei. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> You son of a basket eating bulldog! <laughs> hey, you're the one that did this sound. Do not blame me. <gasps> hey, what's going on? Proceed. Proceed. Thank you. The <laughs> uh, elder looks to you and says, Is this truly what you want? <laughs> Ogman just gives a nod of his head, pretty much showing that uh, he's also going to add, though, this also helps sh show the other races out there that peace is very well possible. Well, Learning to cooperate with the other races will also help a lot with this as well, so. Well, as 
was unsure that the other ones of our tribe will see them as saviors from a big gun. I'm positive most will be okay with, with this. Especially given the three games we just had. Yes. Consider that most of their initiative, I, I suppose. <laughs> Bless you. Thank Is you. Okay. Thank you. Sorry. But uh, how late it is, most of the orcs want to go to bed. So we can do a small ceremony either now or tomorrow morning. He's gonna look to the others, not say anything about what it is, so we'd rather have it in the morning or now. And Ahmed has a teasing smirk, but since Nephrite knows, he's giving a like, please keep this quiet. I have character, did I- what did I miss? Ogman being vague, let's just say that. <laughs> I'm fine with whatever the- I'm fine with whatever the party chooses. I don't even know what we're agreeing to. Cortana steps up and says, um, it might be better now than later because... Often, anything that we decide later doesn't really happen. Mm-hmm. Ogwin pretty much does the uh, meme of raising the finger to try to counter but then is like, slowly curls it, realizing, yeah, good point. I know that meme. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Josh Borcher. No. I am so, I get I am so confused. What? The... Um, in order to, um, ease Quen's mind, um, Gretana goes over and whispers something to Quen. I'm gonna get a DM whisper. Oh, I can't decide, guys. I had to... It's okay. Yeah. That's okay, yeah. that's okay. And Arvin's giving Quen the look of this quiet, I like for this to be a surprise. Mm -hmm. See, Quen's brain has just. Yeah, my... yeah could... my brain is like, huh? <laughs> In character, you can see Quen's brain is, has just shut off. <laughs> <laughs> just air. Is 24. <laughs> <clears throat> Back on track, though. Yeah. So I think everyone else is in agreement of now due to Cortana's argument. Yep. Yeah, what's the elder? With a proceed. Alright, let me to get the together. Mm -hmm. Alright. Just get those that are willing to stay awake a bit longer. Those that wish to sleep, let them sleep, and they can be gilded in the morning quickly. Alright, so the Elder leads all of you back outside. And Ogwin has this devilish grin on his face. Because <laughs> he knows exactly what's going on. Yeah. And this is going to sleep outside with... We're not going to sleep yet. Yeah, okay. What will we do? After this... It will be revealed! Just... Patience! Patience is a virtue. Patience, young grasshopper. Yeah, <laughs> You see okay, the elder um, waving his stick and yelling a sort of almost war cry to get some of the orcs' attention, and a few of them are come come forth and says, Brothers and sisters of the tribe, by the grace of our new chief, 
and our saviors with his blessing and my permission we are ready to welcome these these people to become members of the of the black claw clan and you see a couple of the orcs you know curiously wondering what what they're not orcs what what's going on I'm just gonna speak up to sort of quell any sort of crazy rumors before they can even start. Due to wanting peace with the other races, I felt this was also a good decision in aiding those peace efforts. If they were not, it would probably continue to let the other races seem we are not willing to let others in. Yet through this, we can let other, hopefully show the other tri clans that we are able to let others in and not only other races but other people of other pe of every kind you, you see a few works nod in understanding though still curious on how this is going to happen So you see the elder whispers something to Rook, and he disappears for a moment, and comes out with a water skin of some kind and a few um, cloth bandages around his arm, and he passes a cloth bandage to each and every one of you. Mm -hmm. That fight will accept the band. Mm, it's a little hole here. Same. Look when. Mm -hmm. Still a day, though. Don't know what I Oh, wait, no, 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 she's not drunk anymore. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And then... He passes the water skin to the elder and says that everyone needs to drink from this to become members of, of the of the Black Claw clan. Mm -hmm. Uh what's in here? Uh I was gonna I was gonna look up that would be an in investigation check. Effort. And I'm just oh, them yes, like, uh, so I like just have to drink from that? Alright. Come out of here. Uh, you just take it and drink it? Hey, oh, not all he's all near. He's all near. Okay, uh, don't question it. You quickly realize that that's not alcohol you're drinking. Like I was saying you know, earlier. No, you he knew that was yeah, that was a given. <laughs> like I was saying earlier, when Cat asked me to roll investigation, what's in it? Um, you guys have rolled high enough to uh, know that it is blood. Wait, it's what? what? <laughs> <laughs> oh, not bad. The tops. You oh, man. There you go. Yeah, Dezo, De, uh, Dezo say, will politely decline. It's like, um, no, thank you. I will stick with water if that's okay. You got. Holdir will will slowly turn his head to Dezo with an abs with a look. Uh, yep, at least drink it. Noel steps forward and he'll he'll drink from it as well. Yep, and so does yeah, Corlai and Cortana. Uh, no, no, even though uh, Corlai looks a little green after drinking that. <laughs> yeah, I'm so thankful I did this research beforehand, so I knew it was going to be blood. Cactus, I curse you. I'm already cursed, and you know that. 
Yeah, Quinn would drink some of it too. And yeah, now yeah. we're only yeah. waiting on Dato and Nephrite. He refused tradition, Draconki. I'm oh, not. No. Okay, Nephrite will just say to Holnir in Dwarvish, I'm not refusing tradition. It's just. I'm not comfortable drinking blood! I never drank blood! And she's saying that strictly in Dwarvish. And how many people here understand her? So I'm Only looking around. Oh dear. Ah, uh, 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 that's what you know. Is there anyone amongst the tribe that understands Dwarvish? As Ogman's looking around, being like, "Translate, please." Um, Gratana's saying, "Uh, she feels a little uneasy drinking it." Right, Cortana. Universal yeah. translator because of mine. <laughs> <laughs> and Cortana just says, you know, just don't think about it. Close your eyes, pinch your nose. It, it goes down. Same with you. Same with you, same with you, Dezo. If I drink it, so can you. With hesitation, she'll... She'll, she'll take a sip, if that can work. She'll take a sip. He looks at her being like, please, will this work? She, she'll take a sip. And then once the entire ceremony is over, she's just downing herself with water and spitting it out as if she was in the dentist. He was a holy wood offer him, would offer her his pipe pot. That can work too. <laughs> so now it's all on Dezo. Does Dezo accept? They went out, says. Hey, so? Yeah. I, I think Discord. Mic problems. Ah. Yep. Yep. Hello? Sophia? <gasps> there we go. There we go. Perfect greeting. <laughs> DM question. Yes? Um, would Dezo had already know what blood would taste like before or no? It tastes a bit like copper. Um, that actually is a true statement. I would say that you never really ate any live animals to know the taste of fresh blood. Okay. Touche. So then she's gonna take a tiny sip of it and then step back and then goes behind the tent and it's like out of anyone's she sight water and it's like stretches her mouth out <laughs> uh, I think I might be a bit sick Whoa. does Shaman looks at some of you and then sees the ones that are not taking it quite a couple of uh, white bellies we have here. Uh, uh, not, not many. God, what do you expect? Uh, there's nothing wrong with a bit of blood. Uh, there's nothing wrong with a bit of blood every now and then. I never had really live animals to know what, what, what fresh blood tastes like. Yep, and I'll you can kind of see it's like a flashback of when you had to do this ceremony when you were like even younger than Quinn's age. And I was actually bringing that exact point up. I had to do this when I was younger than Quinn, so think about that, you guys. <laughs> and I'm gonna think that was a little bit of a ch chuckling mirth to his voice, so let it be known. You guys got off easy. Oh, really? How could it have been worse? Don't even finish that sentence. Don't even answer that question. 
Oh, Do Alvin, I... is it, he's just, no, Alvin isn't saying anything to answer that question. He's just smiling. Yeah, Cortana. Oh, I'm in the book. Yeah, I'm in the book for blood pudding. Face went green after reading your mind with that. <laughs> what did he say, Cortana? Don't answer that. <laughs> you don't know. Oh, let's say the same thing. <laughs> So, can we get on with the story, though? So, yeah. yes, Ben, I need my long rest. Same. Yep. <laughs> Please. Well, either way, uh, the shaman, you know, uh, does the his staff thing to you to you guys up, but on one shoulder instead of the two, like Ogman did, and says, "Congratulations, you are part of the tribe, and you guys get a round of applause." Woo! And, and Arwen out. will now And with that, Arwen says, let's get to sleep, everyone. Yep, and you guys and have Arwen's... a choice of where to sleep. You can either sleep outside, um, in the empty inn, or in the empty lotus house. Yeah, this is gonna bring her wolf buddy into the empty inn. Yeah. That's the mayor's oh, house, Lord. Elise. <laughs> where is the inn? Is this the inn over here? Um, inn's yeah. over here. No. Oh, I'm okay. going to surprisingly actually sleep in the mayor's house. Okay. And Nol and Lori will just go over to the uh, beef house because that's where they used to. See. Yeah. Well, Nephrite Excellent. is going to be bunking with Lorelai and Nol. She's sleeping in the Lotus house. Yeah. Same with Quinn. Is it the Leaf house? Leaf House, Lotus House is a plant house. Okay. Yep. Leaf House is in is uh, Mirror Woods. Lotus House is in uh, Finland. Back on track. And Yep. So Leaf House is all the way down here. Okay. Up. Oh. Whichever one you mentioned, that's fine. Yep. Okay. Cortana's gonna go over there too, so she is just gonna. And with that, I suppose everyone goes to their respective respective places. Bezo and the leeches are already in the inn. Augment's in the mayor's house. Everyone else is in the leaf house, and Alnir is sleeping outside. Oh, Alnir is in diggy diggy hole. Oh, question. <laughs> I'm, sleep I'm sleeping outside near the leaf house. Ah. Sleep in the. Never mind. What? I like nature. So sure. Time for dreams. He'll sleep, out He'll sleep outside with Alnir. He dug a hole big enough for two. Actually, there's a tent above his hole. He has a tent just for that. Boom! I'm not arguing this. Bed. Now. Dream sequence. 